Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you caught my video about a month ago about my experience with Autodesk changing its definitions on what it considers to be a lifetime standalone license for their software, then you're aware that I've been on the hunt for a new CAD software. Well, I'm happy to report back that I think I finally found software that's going to meet my needs for the foreseeable future. The CAD software is named Project CAD, and the version for 2024 was just released a couple months ago. It's a full-featured CAD software that's very similar to Autodesk AutoCAD. The software itself is very reasonably priced, and with that, I have to say I spent my own real live money on this, and there's no affiliation between Project CAD and myself. I did try reaching out to them and seeing if they were interested in issuing an affiliate link and a coupon code for my channel, but sadly, that doesn't seem to be something that they're into. So I've been using the software for about a month now, and I have it set up using the classic CAD interface, using buttons rather than ribbons. I'm super old school, and that's how I've had my CAD set up, essentially since buttons were introduced back with R14 in 97. The software runs pretty smoothly on a Windows 11 machine. I'm running it on my Lenovo W540 with 32 gigs of RAM and a 4950 chipset. It's not a monster of a laptop by current standards, but it works pretty good for what I'm trying to do with it. The software has all the usual features for drawing in 2D and a pretty robust set of tools for 3D modeling. I've been really pleased with the DXF export function, and so far it's really predictable with the order and direction of the cut on files that I send to the plasma cutter. Also, it seems to create really clean STL files for the models that I'm sending to the 3D printer. So far I'm getting really smooth curves without a lot of facets. When you download and start the trial, you're downloading the full version of the software, with all the features enabled. And if you decide to buy the software, there's nothing else to download. Speaking of that, be sure to check your inbox during the trial period. You're most likely to find an email from them with a coupon good for 10% off the purchase of the software. Also, a standard license allows you to install it on two computers. Their example is a desktop at home and a laptop that you travel with. Something that really caught my eye with them is on their website, they say that you can park on any version that you like and only upgrade once they come out with a new set of features that are truly going to improve your workflow. There's also no need to hop on the internet so the software can check for license validation when you switch between your desktop and your laptop. Check them out if you're in the market for new CAD software. There's a link in the description that'll take you to their download page. Go ahead and run the trial and see if it's something that works for what you're trying to do. That's about all I have for this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, share my videos. I know you get tired of hearing it, but it really does help me in the fight with the algorithm. And if you have time, please leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching.